Hey everybody, Denitza here with Homeschooling Mama. How's everyone doing today? I wanted to post a video of my middle daughter doing a science experiment. We are currently doing the physics for grammar stage with, for, with elemental science and we're having fun with it. Um, right now we're doing a whole unit on colors and color mixing. So the science project that we're doing today, it's called Milky Colors. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be putting food coloring into milk and we're going to see, we're going to observe by mixing the colors into the milk, what will happen. So let's go ahead and get going with this project. Okay, so as you can see, we already put a bit of milk inside of a clear container. You don't need to use a whole lot of milk. You just need to have enough milk. Excuse me, babe. So it, so you can see it working. So this is like just a tiny bit of milk in here. So you need milk, okay? You need a clear container. You will need food coloring which we have, and we purchased a science box that goes along with the um, elemental sci science uh, physics for the grammar stage. And grammar stage means elementary stage, so that's why it says grammar. Uh, so this food coloring came in the box, but of course I had to provide the milk in the plastic, which is fine. So what we're going to do is we also need the liquid soap. Can you please hand me the li or liquid soap and put it here? Thank you. Say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> so we have our milk. We have our container. We have our uh, dish soap. We have our food coloring. Um, so I need you uh, to please take out the red, yellow, and blue food coloring. Red, yellow, and blue. Because those are what? Oh, now you're acting all shy. Primary colors, right? Yeah. They're the primary colors. So now we're going to drop several drops of different colors of the food coloring at different places um, along the edge of the dish of milk. Okay. So, so go ahead and on the different edges, go ahead and place a few drops of food coloring. Go ahead. Start with just one color first. Don't smell it mm -hmm. <laughs> on the edge, okay? How many drops? Uh, um, it just says several, so I would count like four. five. Oh. Okay. Well, that was like two, three, four. Okay, that was like five. <laughs> so that was what color? Red? Red. Okay, now get the next color. And do do it again, but on different uh, different places. So put it in a different spot. About five squirts, little squirts, not huge ones. Okay. Okay. Good job. That's more than the red one, I think. It's okay. And now get the yellow and put it somewhere else along the side. There's four squares. That's okay, they only need three because there's only three primary colors. Okay, there we go. So now I would maybe put another squirt maybe of another color here, here, and here. Just along the edges, just a few more, you know? to see how it works because I've never done this before. So just a few little drops maybe here. Okay, on the side is good. Okay, that's enough. Okay, because we need to have the food coloring for other projects. And since we are in quarantine, our state is in shelter in place mode, I have to be kind of easy on our science supplies, right? Because yeah. <laughs> because food coloring, I don't think is considered an essential item. Okay, so you got, oh, why did you put green? 
You told me to. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Whatever. So put a few drops of yellow. On that one. It's okay. No, 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 no. Just put it here. Oh, it's okay. I just realized that you put green. We're just doing primary colors. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, stop. Can I just put it on? No. No. It's okay. Science is trial and error, doing experiments. You know, you make mistakes sometimes. Put okay, put some red. <laughs> ah, it's fine. I should have caught that. I didn't realize that either. So it's no big deal. And now put a little bit of blue. Blue. Wherever along the edge, but not on top of the other colors. Can I put it in the middle? No. No. On the edge. No, not on the other color. Thank you. Okay, that's enough. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to add two drops of liquid dish soap to the center here, to the center of the milk, and see what happens. So just two drops, not huge drops. Do you want me to do it or you got it? Okay, move your hand, please. Put it into the middle. One. Okay, that was more than two, but that's okay. So let's see what happens. Uh, look. Let's observe to see what happens. Look. So you see how the dish soap is starting to break through the surface of the tension of the milk? Looks you funny. see that? <laughs> and then you should be seeing the colors swirl and mix in the bowl. Kind of looks funny. It does, I don't know huh? why. <laughs> So you see it swirling together. You see the blue over there growing. Looks like a mustache. <laughs> it does look like a mustache. And a smiley face. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I like that one because it looks like, ab I mean, abstract. Uh, uh, like yeah, beautiful, abstract. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful abstract. abstract art. That's yeah, that's very nice. What color do you like? Hmm? What color do you like as it's mixing through? Uh, yellow. The yellow? You see how the yellow is kind of mixing with the red? That looks like a banana. Look. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> You're right, it does. Don't do that. Let's put another drop yeah. and see what happens. We don't want to put it. Okay. Just in the middle. Yeah. Okay. okay, I said a drop. Because if you don't do it right, it won't work. Okay? So when you when I say a drop, it has to be a drop. Okay. Nothing really happened. Yeah. You see the blue is going towards oh, I didn't see that. the soap. Because this is our soap. Unfortunately, it's green soap and it wasn't clear, but that's okay. But you see? So the soap broke through all the tension of the milk, and now all the colors are swirling together. And if we mix it, it will make rainbow colors. Probably. Mix it and see what happens. That's not part of the experiment, but that's okay. So, it's always fun to do a little extra. No, 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 just use a regular spoon. I just don't want to get it. So, let's... Mix it slowly, though. Whoa, look! Whoa. That's pretty cool. It's Whoa. like tie-dye milk, isn't it? What the heck? Isn't science what fun? The... Isn't it fun? Isn't that cool? Whoa. That is so pretty. Oh, let the, let the baby have a try. Just mix it. You try it, Lenny. <gasps> Look, art. I love art. It's so beautiful to me. Excuse me, one second. No, no, let me turn it brown. It's supposed to be brown. Looks like paint in the the mixing. It does. Paint. Okay. Hey, whoa. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Well, cool. So that concludes our science project of the milky colors. Um, I will go ahead and post again the instructions in the comments. Okay, so if you liked this project, stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel for more projects, more fun, uh, more curriculum reviews. Don't forget to hit the little alarm button. So that way you can get notifications every time I go live or post something. So thank you again. Subscribe to me also on Facebook, Homeschooling Mama, Denitza Rave, and I have the same exact handle on Instagram. 
Thank you and have an awesome night. I will talk to you guys soon.